This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now back with the Highland and we're gonna go to the Highland. <laughs> no, okay, but this is the Marcus Biel Highland. And you know, a couple of days ago, I went to Hemsedal, not yellow this time, it's similar route, but um, I went there with Polestar 2, the new one. And I wanna see if we can go from Yesheim to Hampstead on the back again, it couldn't make it all the way back. So I was wondering, hmm, can the Highland do it? Yeah, let's try, let's go for it. So, you know, I even, I don't even have original rims here, see? Unrim rim, PH2 Falcon tires, Still not even that one is ideal, you know, we should have the aerodynamic rims. So, yeah, and will that, matter well actually it seems to matter it seems like these are slightly less efficient than the Nuke and Hakabrita R5 and maybe the the aerodynamic rims but fortunately we're going to drive somewhat slow so yeah I'm preparing now heating up uh, the car um, this is interesting I'm just using the car's mechanics right now and what we're doing via the app is that we are charging it to 100% and the car actually chooses to also heat up the battery, which is actually to our advantage. The warmer the battery, the better. You can then scavenge the heat while we are driving. So um, this only occurs when we are outside the car and locked. Um, so let me see, I can show you here. Can I show you? Okay, let's try, let's try to go inside the car. Well, anyway, uh -huh, well, interesting. The car claims that we are finished charging, but it still charges a little bit, I think. And um, yeah, we're gonna go 220 kilometers, right, 219, over there and back again. And it's going to be minus eight, I think, at the coldest. So, well, I'm actually not sure. Are we done charging or what? Uh, really? Okay, maybe we are done charging. Okay, interesting. It says parked. It's still preheating. Um, you can see here, okay, we have to, I, if I'm inside the car, uh, it doesn't work, but this will actually simulate a typical scenario where you actually, you, you're not inside the car, you're inside the house and you just preheat the car and you see that it actually heats up the battery for some reason. It's just the way Tesla has been programmed. Huh, look, so we are pulling 7.2 kilowatt, um, 10 amps. Yeah, but we are not gaining any energy into the battery. So uh, I'm not sure how long I want to sit around and wait. Uh, We'll see, uh, but I should leave soon. All right, I stayed here a little bit extra. It wasn't that long, uh, five extra minutes until the preheating stopped. And you see, it seems to have stopped at 35 degrees Celsius. So actually it was pulling around eight kilowatt from the plug. And even though the, the electricity part here did not go up, it put energy into the battery in form of heat. And that means that once we start driving, it will scavenge that heat and therefore reduce the, the consumption. So this is, this is it, okay, we are good to go. And I'll show you something else here. We're gonna test something. I updated the car. Oh, 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 adaptive high beams on. Oh, okay, let's go. All right, we're on the move. And uh, yeah, the Polestar ha had actually another advantage because I drove in the daytime. We had sun even. Uh, now we have to drive at night, another disadvantage. Uh, but despite that, the consumption right now is staggering low. 157 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, and it's minus 2 degrees Celsius outside. And it's going to be even colder. And the road is wet. Wow. Uh, auto high beam is on right now. So we just have to have some traffic. But I think on this stretch there might not be too much traffic. Hmm. But it seems like the, the auto high beam is doing a great job. I need to do, I need to go deeper, dig deeper and test this. Yeah, but man, you know, immediately when I came in here and started driving, I noticed that compared to the Polestar, it is quieter here. I mean, it's not a lot quieter, but it is quieter here. Despite that, I don't even have the Nuke and Hakabalita R5 tires. They, they would be even quieter. And also the ride is just way more comfortable, man. Oh. Nice. Uh, why do I keep comparing against Pulsar 2? Because that's a rival in price and size also. And you see, just like the Polestar, uh, we will drive at the speed limit for once. And uh, uh, 
Okay, 80 on the speedo here is 78, 77, yeah. You see, there's also a little bit incorrect speed here, but uh, whatever. So we can almost consider this like a Sunday driving. Yeah, but it's just done at night. It's like winter Sunday driving. How far can we go? Huh? We'll see. Wait, 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 we found traffic. Okay, let me see. So now the right side is lid and then zoop. Oh, huh? matrix lights for the win. <laughs> Tesla is back in the game. We are now getting close to flow and we'll be driving for uh, well one hour and 46 minutes now and you see the consumption man 154 watt hour per kilometer what the heck you see it's minus eight degrees celsius outside it's proper winter it's cold outside and somehow this car has summer consumption compared to other cars what this is just a uh, Tesla in a nutshell, man. It is incredibly efficient. Man. And okay, so we've been driving. Look, look at this. Look at this. It's winter. Uh, the right side here, the lines are not that clear. And... Oh, oh, oh! Fox! What the fox say? Do you see it? Do you see the fox? Oh, okay. Okay, I saw the fox. Okay, Achtung, Achtung. Okay, but look. Okay, we use the sexy buttons. Click. Oh man, I love the sexy buttons. We are using autopilot on these twisty roads with uh, obscured uh, lines. And it works fine. It can take the... Look, look now. You don't even see the lines properly, right? Are we on autopilot? Yes. <laughs> oh, I, it's so nice and quiet in here. The comfort level is extremely good with a highland suspension. Oh man. Okay, I kind of miss the stocks, but uh, with the sexy button, that makes up for some of it. And I'm still waiting for the sexy stocks. Yeah, but okay, you see here, uh, the battery has cooled down now. We are down to 12 degrees Celsius. So yeah, the, the heat advantage is gone, G-U-N. But still, the car should still be very efficient. So we will see now. We still have a long way to go before we are done. And if you see here, the car estimates that we'll be at Hemsedal with 50% battery. Whoa, Polestar ended up in Hemsedal with 45% battery. Uh, so yeah, I think we are in pretty good position to make it back to Yesheim. We are now in Ghoul and over here it is snowing. Oh shit. This is not a disadvantage with the Highland. Uh, when we did the um, Polestar run, first of all, it was daytime and it was sunny. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, snow surface creates slightly higher resistance, uh, rolling resistance. So it's a uh, slight dis- No, oh, no, what the heck are you doing? No, dude, the car thinks it's a 50 zone here. What the heck, man? It has- it has not been a 50 stone here. I, I have driven this route for 11 years with Millen Falcon since 2013. It was never a 50 stone. It was always a 60 stone. I don't know where the heck, how much, uh, yeah, what the heck is this car smoking? <laughs> but look, look, look. Estimated arrival is now 49%. Oh, okay. We are now at 160 watt hour per kilometer. All right, okay, so um, yeah, I'm getting hungry, but I think I just want to get over there to uh, um, Hemsedal first. Supposedly, the gas station over there is closed now at night. Uh oh, 
It's only open uh, at night during weekend, but now it's weekday. Yeah, no, now it suddenly speeds up. <laughs> oh shit, but uh, the snow intensifies. Oh. Well, we're here. There, there is actually the, the place I stopped at last time. It's closed now. It's two at night, uh, Monday. Well, technically t Tuesday now, but yeah, regular weekday. So everything here is closed except for the hotels, but they don't have anything uh, to offer, right? So let me check here. Uh, so I was planning on stopping here, but supposedly this place is also closed. Yep, it looks quite closed. So, um, huh? What? Midler tea is that? What? 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 What the heck is this? It's closed. Uh, you can't get juice here. Dinosaur juice. No dinosaur juice for you. Okay. And, oh, those those pumps are available. Okay. 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 Forty-eight point six percent. Why did it go up? <laughs> wow. Amazing. And then it's the consumption was one hundred seventy-one watt hour per kilometer. All right, um, and then, okay, distance, it's supposed to be 220 roughly. So this car overports by 1%. So that means that the consumption is 1% higher than that, so 173, but that is still amazing, man. So it's still, okay, it's minus five degrees over here. Um, I just need to turn around and uh, what we can do, we can go uh, shell ghoul instead. Huh? Press and hold huh? Uh, here that yeah, this is okay there we just go back there because that shell is open 24 7 so uh, um, uh, okay let's uh, go We are now at Ghoul Shell. Oh man, it's freaking bumpy over here. Yes, Sanctuary. This is the only gas station or whatever that is open 24 seven around here. Once we go further towards Oslo or Yesheim, everything is closed there. I can show you here. Floor, everything is closed. Gulsby closed. Sokna closed. <laughs> Maybe us there's some stuff open, but I'm, I'm gonna skip it anyway. So, yeah, entry. Look at, look at, look at. Okay. This is from uh, from Hemsedal to here. 100 watt hour per kilometer. The average have dropped to 162 watt hour per kilometer now. Ionic, go home. <laughs> wow. This car is amazing, man. Okay, let me see. Uh, so, here we're down to 44% now. And uh, let me see here. 41.6 kilowatt hour left and then the battery is at uh, 15 16 degrees celsius and you see the inlet is 16.4 so it's not scavenging heat from the battery anymore okay but we're gonna leave the car here let me see um if i navigate back to yes him oh the car claims we can make it there with five percent all right challenge accepted wait did the oh the consumption went up you see the consumption actually goes up while we are in park hmm okay but um yeah i will have a little food stop you see it's 249 now so i'm not sure if i'll stay here an hour but at least half an hour right oh yeah i went for the full package this is 250 gram burger the biggest burger ever 250 grams that is a lot of meat for a small asian like me and then we also have fries i went for small fries this is just carbs anyway and then coke i have the coke in the freezer over there i want to pick it up but yeah you know this costs 220 nook which is half of what i paid 
at that uh, cafe in Hemsedal. See, we have some vegetable, fresh vegetables. Oh yeah, cucumber, pickle, what's in there? Oh, okay, nice, nice. Real meat, not that vegan shit, you know? I drive electric car, so then I offset for the CO2 so I can eat meat. So, you know, it should be, like, people who drive, like, some people have the, has this weird idea that if you drive electric, you have to be a vegan, of course. No, 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 it's the other way around. I should be able to eat meat, whereas fossil drivers, they need to offset for the CO2 by eating vegan. Yeah, okay, anyway, let's try this. Mmm, mmm, good stuff. Let's try this. Try to try the fries. Mmm, fries taste good, juicy. Mm. Except for this part, this one will burn. All right, we're back in the car and we have actually stayed here for about an hour. It's still minus eight degrees Celsius. So yeah, um, and you can see here that uh, still 41.6 kilowatt hours, same as when we left. Battery temperature is also roughly the same, but you see here, it's now sucking some heat from the battery and it's, it's trying to heat up the bar uh, heat up the cabin. So it is uh, cold in the cabin, you see it's warming up. Well, okay, let me see. What is the, oh, okay. Um, if I do this, this. So the car still claims that we will arrive in Yesen with 5%. Well, let's go for it. And then also this will be interesting because you see now uh, when we start driving, the consumption should be slightly higher because we have to heat up everything again. It's like we're having a coal-ish start. We are now at Rua and uh, the total consumption now is 166 watt hour per kilometer and then since uh, goal is 172. Wow, okay. And you look, look here, we have 10% left and we can still keep going. If we press here, the car estimates we can go another 51 kilometer. Well, that's rated uh, or ideal, but anyway, 10%. You know, the Polestar, despite having better driving conditions, had to bail out here with 2% left, whereas the Highland can still keep going. And the car now estimates that we will arrive at Yesim with 2%. Wow, impressive, man. Another impressive thing is that auto steer, I mean, autopilot is still working. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. And then you see the temperature has gone up a little bit. It was 13 degrees for the longest time. Now it's 16 degrees. Okay, that's good. We have right at the supercharger, yeah. So yeah, we have V4 over there. I'm just gonna use V3, it doesn't matter. I actually like the V3 because the, the plugs are smaller. Uh, but okay, so here is the final stats. 441 kilometers, but you have to correct for it. Um, yeah, and then we have 2% left, or you can see more detail here, 2.5% left. Uh, and you see here, we, we managed to pull 72.7 kilowatt hour plus this. So it would be roughly 74.5 kilowatt hour of well, 74.6. Very impressive. This is exactly what we can get also in summer. So you see in a well-designed EV like Tesla, then you get the same amount of kilowatt hour summer and winter, despite that it is here, you see, or you can see, show it here. It's minus four degrees. It was minus nine degrees Celsius at the coldest. 
uh, no problem. So now we're gonna plug in. Wait, 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 check something else here. Battery temperature is, is 100, it's 17.5. Hmm, let's see how fast we'll charge. Okay, let's see what kind of speed do we get. 100 kilowatt, 110, 120. Ooh, it starts kicking in the heater now. Wow, look at this. I didn't preheat before fast charging. We got 165 kilowatt. Wow. Wait, wait, it's still going. It's still going. What the heck? This is some impressive shit. Huh? Look at this. <laughs> no preheating, but uh, the battery still stayed warm. Yeah, in comparison, uh, Polestar, uh, since we haven't done that many runs yet, uh, Polestar uh, let the battery temperature drop to around 9 degrees Celsius, and Polestar only received around 80 kilowatt initially, and then it slowly ramped up to about 100 kilowatt after 5 minutes. But here, 181 kilowatt, alien technology. Okay, I did some calculation. Uh, since this car overreports by 1%, the real consumption was 166 watt hour per kilometer. And based on 74.6 kilowatt hour you can get from this, it means 449 kilometers of range. Enough when they tested the winter test, they ended up with around 440 kilometers. I don't know where the model, uh, the, the Highland stopped, but okay, but very good. Uh, in summer, you can expect around 600, I think, with this Highland. So, uh, yeah, um, and then you see that even now it's taking 153 kilowatt, or at least uh, what goes into the battery, you can see it here, is 144 kilowatt. Huh? Not too bad. Okay, but um, you see, this test of whatever, I wouldn't do it for every car out there. It does, needs to be with a car that has decent range you know for example a Stellantis car with 50 kilowatt hour battery would end up in the mountain there which is unfair so which car has around 550 to 600 kilometers of range well soon enough I will test a hey, I will test a Volkswagen ID7 let's see then ID7 will also have around 80 kilowatt hour battery and it should be efficient so can it make it up there and back again hmm and also which other cars should we test? Huh? Do you guys have an idea? Should we try Ionic 6, EV6, Xpeng G9, or whatever? We can try to request the car. Oh, you know, eventually I'm going to borrow um, a Škoda Enyaq with a new drivetrain, 82 kilowatt hour or 77, and also uh, an updated uh, Audi Q4 e-tron, but this time the Sportback. Ooh. Okay, and maybe you guys have some other ideas. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.